got to be the best experience. I really hope Jimmy's in there. I'm a really big fan. Whew. Got to admit, uh, it's a little rough the last couple of weeks. Um, I had a, um, a toothache, a uh, tooth there, and, and I ended up needing a root canal, which I've never had in my life. God damn it, man. I got to tell you something, though. When you need a root canal, you will beg for the root canal. You will be rip the nerves out of my teeth. Why do we even have nerves in our teeth? And by the way, the lesson I learned, my little dental school out of it all, if you have crowns in your mouth, rip them out every 10 years because you don't know what's going on under there. The tooth was, anyway. Well, for many of you, it's spring break. Some of you had your spring break. Some of you are gonna have spring break. L let me give you just a little travel tip. Um, when I see stories like this, um, Maybe just stay in a hotel. So there is a downside to Airbnb when the host kills the guest. I don't hear that happening quite as often in hotels. It wouldn't be good for business. So while Hoko News was on its little hiatus, there was a debate that caught my attention in the US Congress about Nickelback, or Nickelback came up in a congressional debate. Everyone else wanted to change this out of 77,000. Uh, that's probably about the percent of people who think Nickelback is their favorite band in this country. It's pretty low. Uh, and I think uh, if you look at it, Nickelback's your favorite band. I, I, I apologize to the gentleman. Why would you criticize one of the greatest <laughs> bands of the 90s? Now, there's a whole thing about Nickelback, and, and, I, and I need to confess, not that I'm a fan, but I feel partially responsible for Nickelback. I worked for a radio station in Toronto years ago called Q107. We were this big rock station, one of the largest in that country. We had a countdown every night. I was on the evening shift. We did the top 10 of 10. I said, this whole countdown seems rigged to me. There's something weird about it. A kid calls in, he goes, yeah. He said, I wrote a program when I go to school that just votes for songs randomly and screws up your countdown. I said, really? Well, I go, let me, let me just pick a random song and, if, you know, just to see if, if this is true. I'll pick a random song nobody's heard of before and you make it number one tomorrow night. I looked beside me on, on the table and they had all the new CDs that were released. In the pile of CDs, there was one from this band that nobody had heard of because it hadn't been on the air yet. We were getting ready to put it on the air. It was called Nickelback. So I just randomly grabbed the CD and I said, look, make that number one tomorrow night. So the kid did. He wrote a program. Nickelback went to number one. I said, do it again tomorrow night. Did it for a bunch of nights. All of a sudden, the record companies say, we have a hit on our hands. This thing's incredible. Everybody's voting for it. And next thing you know, Nickelback blows up. Now, was it just because of that countdown? Probably took some other factors to get to where they were. But that's what happened. And sometimes that's how a band can succeed. Stupid, blind luck. So I do feel a little responsible for, for Nickelback, and I, and I do apologize to those of you that don't like Nickelback. And for those of you that do, you're welcome. Hoko News doesn't have any sponsors. I don't even think this channel's monetized. I don't even know how you monetize it. You click something, I don't care. It doesn't matter. What, am I gonna make eight cents off of this? I'm not monetizing the channel, but, and, we, and we don't have sponsors. So this non-sponsor is Jimmy John's. Hoko News is not brought to you by Jimmy John's, but I did go there and I wanted to try it. They opened one up in my neighborhood and I, I took uh, my girls and their friend and uh, we went to Jimmy John's and, and tried it for the first time. I think I want a number 12, uh, small one though, an 8 inch on uh, nine green wheat. <laughs> Pretty good. Give it like a seven. Oh, and the, uh, the shout, the, um, the shout outs. Brandon Sierra, boom, shout out. Oh, an honorable mention to Clueless Vaping. I don't know what that is, dude, but if that's your channel, I, I, I'm really interested to see your channel now. If you want a shout out, just uh, type it in the comments below and we'll give you a shout out. I promise to try to do more Hoko news more often. It's like, it's a pain in the ass, man. I, I don't know how you guys do all the YouTube and the editing and the crap, and then yeah, I got kids and a job. Anyway, I'll try. I know it's an excuse, it's lame, it's lame. But let's uh, let's wrap it up. That's that's Hoko News. Cause we are